Hey, Internet. A couple of months ago, I saw a video by Evan Kale, this video, where he took a hacked up Bluetooth module and an Arduino and was able to make an adapter for PS2 keyboards to make them into wireless Bluetooth keyboards. I thought that was really cool, but I figured, who uses PS2 keyboards anymore? Uh, most of us have upgraded to USB devices, so I figured there had to be a better way, and it turns out there was. Calling it the HID Relay. Here's what you need. Now just load everything up into a mixer and stir. So I'm not going to bore you with all the, the details about soldering, and I'm sure you can figure that out. Uh, if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments, and, and I'll see if I can point you in the right direction. But the basics of this is you're just going to power it up, in my case. I just have these two pins over here where I supply 5 volts. You can uh, do something like I did, which was hack up a USB cable. Uh, you can also get a USB battery bank, something like this, and plug it into there such that you are totally wireless aside from the wire hanging off your keyboard. I did a bunch of tests, and it works with pretty much every keyboard I've thrown at it. I haven't tested very many. But the ones that I did worked fine. Um, mice even worked through, through this, uh, HID mice. One notable exception, I recently purchased a crappy gaming-ish USB mouse, uh, this guy, and it acted weird. As I would move the mouse on, on my mouse pad, the cursor was delayed. So I'd move to the right, and then a couple seconds later, the mouse would slowly creep over, uh, and I think that's something to do with uh, speed imbalance. The mouse is spinning out way more data than the module and the, the Bluetooth and the Arduino can keep up with, and so it's just picking up this giant backlog and slowly feeding it out. So you could probably have to figure out a better way to handle that, uh, but for at least a moment, keyboards work just fine. Uh, mice, if you want to help me out and figure out a better way to do that, that'd be great. Some of you guys may be wondering about this uh, you know, N key rollover, how many keys you can actually trigger at the same time. Now, I don't know if this is a limitation of my keyboard or the library that is reading the HID from the USB, but I only got a maximum of six key presses at a time. That's addition to modifiers like Control, Alt, Shift, the uh, Windows keys, things like that. Those are handled in a separate bit mask. But six keys, uh, think about like F1s, your QWERTYs and all that, it's still pretty good, um, but though I understand a lot of you gamers not going to be down with that. So if you want to figure out how to increase that, uh, more research is needed. So I hope this is something that's going to be useful to you. If you end up trying it out, uh, hit me up on, on Twitter or on, leave a comment here. Let me know if you have any trouble and just, you know, have fun with it. Thanks. Bye.